a video for ages and it's mainly because I haven't bought any shoes that are really worth doing a whole video on because unlike when I was younger and I used to see a pair of amazing heels and I would have the money and be like oh I'll buy them, I need them and then never wear them. I've actually got really good lately and just sort of looked at them, maybe touched them and then just put them down because I really don't wear heels and I have so many heels that I really haven't even like worn properly so I'm just like stopping myself buying any sort of like amazing shoes like that because I'm not going to wear them. I'm trying to be sensible and grown up. We're getting there, almost. I feel like I need to apologise for my outfit. I've got bright pink nail polish on, mustard and blue. I what can you do? So the only shoes I've really bought this year have been Converse and like flats that you just get off the hanger, nothing special and I think I bought a pair of boots from Topshop at the beginning of this year but today I have something I think that's worthy of unboxing for you guys and it is a pair of Jeffrey Campbells. I'm sure you guys recognise this box. The first pair of Jeffrey Campbells I got were the Jeffrey Campbell Liters. When I first got my Jeffrey Campbells I loved them and I wore them so much and they were so comfortable and I just thought they were the best thing on earth but I, I feel like kind of everyone and their mum has them now and I've kind of I've grown out of them not not physically but like mentally I just as much as I still love them my styles moved on a bit and it's just really not me. So my first pair of Jeffrey Campbells were probably the most expensive shoe I've ever bought. Everything else I normally get from like Topshop or New Look. New Look are amazing for cheap shoes. So this is my second pair of Jeffrey Campbells and I know they're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. I feel like Jeffrey Campbell is a very sort of a love-hate brand but I really really like these shoes and you guys wanted to see a shoe unboxing so that's what I'm doing for you guys today. So obviously this is what the box looks like and I got these off of kinder.com and I've had a little try on but I've not actually worn them outside yet. So you guys are the first people that I'm going to show them to and I've just opened the box and I love the smell of like new shoes especially Jeffrey Campbell's. I think it's the polish they put on the shoes, I probably shouldn't be sniffing it or I'm going to end up making myself high or something. So when you open the box they look like that, I've taken all the tissue paper out. So the actual shoe, it is called The Train, spelt T-R-A-N-E, I think it's that, The Train, and it's just in the black. Like I said, Jeffrey Campbell's aren't everyone's cup of tea. I didn't know whether I was going to like these when I saw them online, but I couldn't help but buy these because on Plinda they were only $58 or, yeah, $58.95. So I've got my laptop in front of me so I don't forget prices. They were $58.95, which is just under £40. I think it's like £37. So I couldn't really say no. So I did like the look of these and so I ordered them and I wasn't too sure, but when they came I was like, you know what? I like these. I like how these are a nice mix between like a jelly sandal, yet they still got that grungy feel of like Jeffrey Campbell's. But at the same time, I feel like they're a little bit more feminine because they've got the cutouts here and the cutout here, which shows off a lot of ankle, which doesn't make them look too clumpy. I love shoes like this. I think on other people they look amazing, but I'm always a bit worried about them on me. They do have another version of this shoe which has like a bit that goes around your ankle up here but that looks a little bit too biker grunge I don't think I could pull it off but I feel like I could pull these off because I think that these would go well with not only dresses and skirts but also jeans because I wear a lot of jeans and I roll the um, ankle bits up a lot so I feel like with these cutouts here it will look quite decent with rolled up jeans it's a really nice matte leather although I don't know how well they're going to do with like scuffing and things but I'm sure you can just polish over that. Not only are you paying for the quality of the actual shoe but inside it's really padded, it's like really squishy here so they are uber comfortable. Jeffrey Campbell's are in US sizes so I got an 8.5 which is equivalent to a UK 6.5 which is perfect because I'm actually 6.5 but in most shops I have to either downsize and get a 6 or upsize and get a 7 because most places don't do half sizes. So I've got both my litres and these in an 8.5 aka UK 6.5 and they fit 
totally true to size. The only thing I find with these, because of the nature of the shoe and the way it's cut, when you walk, this bit does slip off your heel a little bit. When I got these, it was on like the second tightest buckle, so I put it on like the tightest buckle, and it tightened it to my foot a bit more so it didn't slip too much. Obviously I've not worn these outside and out and about yet, so I don't know if they're gonna rub. I have a feeling if they do give me blisters, it's either gonna rub me here, or on the back of my heel where my foot's going like that constantly, but it's not because they're too big for me, it's just because there's nothing holding it to the foot around here. The heel looks quite big on camera, but it really doesn't feel like anything when you've got it on. I don't have anything like this, and it does make a nice change to my usual like ankle boots. I'll give you a couple of links in the down bar because Plinda only have a couple of sizes left. I did do some hunting online and Office do them. You guys can go on the Office website and they have way more sizes online. The only downfall of that is that they are original price so they are £110 instead of £37. Pounds. But if you really really want them then I definitely say it was worth the money. The one thing I would say is that don't buy them and think oh, you really like the idea of them, but you're not really going to wear them. So be honest with yourself, try them on. If you love them and you think you're going to wear them, then 100% worth the money. If you try them on and think, yeah, they are cool, but am I really going to wear them? Don't part with the money, send them back. So I think that's everything covered. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try and answer them. And if I find any other websites that sell them, I'll link them as well. It's been a long time since I've done one of these videos, so I'm like, have I mentioned everything? Hmm, I have been drinking coffee as well. Got myself an iced caramel latte and it's made me really, really hyper. So good. But anyway, I'm going to let you be. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs it up if you want to see some more show unboxings or just let me know in the comments. You don't have to thumbs it up. But if you like the video, you can thumbs it up. Hey, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!